Hey there, my name is Karen Jones, Content Editor for the Society of Technical Analysts. Today we're looking at the US 10-year yield, just ahead of the Fed this afternoon. Uh, and basically, they're widely expected to keep interest rates steady. The focus is going to be on potential hints of when policymakers intend to start cutting interest rates. So what are we looking at on the daily chart? Well, over the past couple of weeks, we've seen a correction higher it is looking a bit like an ABC correction, uh, and it just it seems to have fouled at, at these moving averages, the 55 and 200 day moving averages. Just can't really build up the steam to clear this 420 level on the top side. Uh, and it does seem to be keeling over. And if we look down at our DMI, you can see that this is also pivotally poised. The uh, plus DMI and the minus DMI are again about to touch. So no clues from here. RSI is pretty neutral, but as I say, this does look like an ABC correction and it does look like it's keeling over. Let's have a look at some longer term charts. We can see from our weekly chart, the market's recently broken below a, a year long uptrend uh, and it has attempted a return to point of breakout and is basically failing. So. What does this mean? It means that I think that the market will come under a little bit of pressure. Uh, the near term levels are going to be these recent lows at 391.60, which was the lowest one in the middle of January, and also the end of the year low at 379. I would also point out to you that 379 is the 20 month moving average on this chart. So 379 is pretty crucial uh, for underlying support now. Uh, but near term, it does look like it's losing a bit of steam, as I said, at 420. Above 420, we've got this old pivot point, which is the middle of August 23, high at 436. That would be my initial upside target should 420 get taken out. But to my mind, it is looking a little bit weak ahead of these numbers. Thank you.